Hello world, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the cryptography challenge sequences worth 400 points. Let's get into it. I wrote this linear recurrence function. Can you figure out how to make it run fast enough and get the flag? Download the code here, sequences.py. Note that even an efficient solution might take several seconds to run. If your solution is taking several minutes, then you may need to reconsider your approach. Okay, so I've already got the source code downloaded. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Now you'll notice there's some extra code in here and stuff is because it's because I was trying to solve this programmatically and it just wasn't working for me. And of course I ran out of time and I'm actually solving this post CTF, but since we have a week to do write-ups, I thought I'd go ahead and finish solving it. But again, I'm still kind of pressed for time because I got other videos I have to release. So sequences and Function overwrite I did post CTF, so I did not get actual points for these, but I can still show you how to do these because I was able to go back and finish what I started. So if we come down here, here's main print verify key soul equals M underscore funk iters and just know that this is a pretty big number. I think it's like 2 million or something like that. I can't quite remember, but we don't need to compute that right now. Verify key. That's the MD5 that we're trying to match. And then of course, here's our encrypted flag, which is going to be decrypted upon successful recurrence, I guess, if you want to call it that. So basically we just need a way to solve this function that's efficient. And there are, of course, like Sage math was probably a way you could do it. I'm not sure on that. I, I didn't look into it, but the way I did it was I just simply went to Wolfram alpha and I typed in linear recurrence, I think. Here we go. Yeah, and you can select from a bunch of starting ones that we can use here. So it starts off with some initial values to start off with because sometimes if you, it, it'll change the recurrence if you don't start off that way. So we can do specify, speci <clears throat> excuse me, specify initial values. And we want G of zero equals one. And then we also want, we'll just leave it as G. We'll say G of one is two, G of two is three, and G of four, sorry, G of three is four. And then of course we'll have, go ahead and space those out to make them a little bit more readable. And of course we have our linear function right here so all we're gonna do is copy and paste what's in here into what's over here and notice we're using I here I think that's fine I think it'll still work with I well, let's go ahead and change all of these to G's and then all we need to do is press this equals button and we should be able to solve it hmm it didn't like it what am I missing oh sorry I actually forgot to do G of I equals. There we go. Okay, this looks right. So here's our expanded equation, or sorry, our recurrence equation solution. And theoretically, this is what you would wanna put in here to make it go faster, of course. Again, didn't really work for me, so there's probably another way to do it or a better way to do it. But we'll just click on it and it'll automatically fill it in for us, which is great because that'll lead me into our next step, which is just calculating what that 2E7 value was at the top. And it looks like it's 2 million, 20 million, whatever. And we come back up here. Iters is what's getting passed into mfunk. So that's exactly the value that we're trying to essentially get in the program. So we'll take this actually, and what we're gonna do is, normally you can just do a comma and then like I equals like this, and then, oops, didn't mean to do that. You could grab the value and copy it in and it'll solve it for you, but this didn't work for me. So I actually had to, unless it works this time for some reason, Uh, no, doesn't look like it worked. What if we use I as a variable though? 
Well, if that actually finishes, and I don't know if it will, in case it doesn't, what we'll do is, and it doesn't look like it did. So what we'll do instead, of course, is we'll just open up Notepad, we'll paste this in, we'll replace all the eyes with this value. Place all, okay. Close that out, we'll grab this, and we'll paste it in here, and then we'll press equals. So it was able to calculate that, but it's a decimal approximation. So it's not fully expanded and you kind of have to pay for Wolfram if you want to get the fully expanded version or download the whole data. So we can actually click plain text here and it'll just be this portion of it. It won't be the full thing. So don't fret because there's another step that you can do that'll actually get you a better number, like a fully expanded number. Notice once you get this value, in mfunk, it passes it to decrypt flag. And in decrypt flag, it takes it and mods it by 10 to the 10,000. So we can go ahead and compute that in Wolfram. So we can just go mod 10 to the 10, 1, 2, 3, 10,000, and do equals. And we should get. something different there we go and you'll notice that you can do more digits and it'll load more digits for you now it'll take you a second but it you will eventually get all the digits there's i think it even tells you yeah ten thousand decimal digits so just click keep clicking more digits and you'll eventually get the full thing i actually already had the full thing over here for us but you'll notice you can't actually highlight this it's like an image but what you can do instead is go to inspect and then you can you see it in this alt text and you can just copy this chunk. Notice the dot, dot, dots. You have to finish doing all the more, what was it? More digits button until it finishes, right? Until you get to the end. And then you'll be able to, of course, inspect. And then again, you'll notice you'll be able to copy the number you need, which is what I did. So what we can do is we can comment out this. We don't need that being called and we can uncomment this and we can comment out this part because we've already done that. Save it. And now if we run it, yes, Python file, you'll notice that we indeed got our flag. It decrypted successfully. That means our hashes matched or were verified properly. And I don't believe I actually put this in yet. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.